Hello and welcome to video 43 in the series here in the Minecraft FTW channel. It's Diz here and I'm out chopping wood. Well, it's incidental that I'm chopping this particular wood because I just happen to need some, but I came out for a very particular type of wood. I'm just on my age here, spending a bit of time. Chop, chop, chopping away with a chainsaw. And the reason I need wood is I have already gotten a good ways into the uh, Tomcraft stuff, as I said I would. Got a whole bunch of research done, hence the gap in the videos. Uh, I have been busy, busy, busy. I've got quite a lot of updates actually done already. And there is the tree, the tree I'm after. And I'm hoping... Crap, I think I forgot it, but... Let me have a quick look. Yes, I did. I forgot the sickle, but... Oh well. I'm hoping against hope that I will actually get... Uh, some saplings from this tree. So, fingers crossed. Uh, once I actually chop the tree down... No, actually, I'm gonna go back to base first and we'll have a quick look... at some of the updates turn that noisy thing off. Okay, so quick look in here, you'll see this is now my Tomcraft room. Um, we have the larger enchanting table here, I can't remember what it's called, but I've already got a good amount of research done. I have the system set up here, because, well, you know, I'm lazy. Feed the items in there, and they drop into the cauldron, so, yeah. You don't have that whole messy business of, you know, stand here, oops, missed one, okay, pick it back up again, throw it in again, you know, all that kind of nonsense. So, actually in this corner here, I've hidden, uh, there's like a, or there used to be, I should say, a ladder down. No ladder here anymore. <laughs> it's like a secret way in, and through the use of awesome levitator blocks. Whee! I can come back up again, in a hurry. So, yeah. Let's have a quick look around anyway. Storage has gotten a real kick up the ass. Um, and it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. To implement all of this, uh, let me tell you. Um, oh, I'm absolutely loving this block, seriously. Um, this is the best block in the game. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, there's hardly anything it can't uncraft. So, you'll see in there, actually, uh, if I come back in here, there's no diamond chests and stuff here anymore. Why is that? Well, using this block here, you can revert back down the way. So I was able to like reclaim diamonds, gold, um, you know, even for some recipes, it will actually take the things apart and you can get them back. Now, of course, you need XP for it, but yeah, even still, you know, freaking sweet. <laughs> I put that thing to a lot. I mean, a lot of use. So, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Should have actually got this kind of, you know, or known about it sooner. Uh, I'd have been using it sooner, but got a wrath lamp. I keep going to say wraith, I know, but oh well. Wrath lamp in place there, and just out here, all of these machines. Well, there's been two extra ones added with some crafting pipes here because obviously I needed to do a little bit of crafting for the refined iron instead of doing it manually, you know, because we're looking to automate here. Automate people the only way to go. And up here then we have a chest, overflow chest, or temporary storage chest, whatever you want to call it, for the satellite pipe up there, logistics pipe. Um, made a whole bunch, of course I've automated, you know, the making of these automatic <laughs> crafting tables, because, you know, fuck that shit, you know. Uh, in here, hidden in here, I have a um automatic bucket filler 
kind of. Uh, just runs off the timer, turn this on, that starts the timer, and there is a deployer in there. So when a bucket comes into the system here, uh, it gets pulsed every couple of seconds, bucket gets filled, then pulled back out again as needed, because some of the recipes do need it, and hence the... If we can get just close enough, right there. So, yeah, you can see I've been busy. I like really busy. So what I'm looking to do here now is I have the quarry turned off. I've managed to process all of the miscellaneous ores that I was kind of getting, you know, hanging around the place kind of thing that were kind of annoying. And that's the same chest that's up there that's sorting or need sorting from. Um, so, yeah, rather than, you know, all of the time having to run over here and, you know, convert the ores to the different types and then putting them away, I said, you know, hell with that, just, you know, whatever turns into an English, it goes in here. So, yeah. Anything else? Uh, the logistics system, as you see, has a huge kick up the ass. Um, all of these pipes uh, now work with barrels, freaking sweet. I've upgraded the pipe here. It's now a Mark II pipe. I'm making full use of this disc. A whole lot of stuff on here. Th this is just like um, instead of using a table here, uh, and I'm in the process of actually getting some stuff together here. I need the plate bending machine. Um, and something else. Yeah, there are components for the plate bending machine. Um, macerator, yeah. Well, there's a few things on the go here. I'm kind of all over the place. But, um, yeah, rather than making a recipe, uh, putting it in here, and, you know, having to get all the items, well then I can just, you know, click here. Notice I don't have a wrench in my hand currently. In fact, I can hold anything and right click it. And it will bring up this interface. So you can see there's the auto crafting bench. We're up to five pages long now. So, yeah, I did a serious resort on the inventory. So, I am, um, as I said, running around here to get some wood. Um, I don't, you know, the, the objective here is to uh, be here as much as possible and not run around all the different chests and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, for now, because these are mostly empty and I'm coming along and manually putting the items in, until I'm relatively sure I can, you know, uh, have it automatically sorted by... You know, for example, the wood here. Let's open up that. Throw that in. Throw that in. That's away now. Sorted. Same with the saplings. Same with the apples. Oak leaves. Not so much. So, yeah. That's the story there. Um, as I said, I'm in the middle of making some upgrades here. I'm going to switch to the rotary macerator and, you know, upgrade the furnace. I'll keep probably these two on the end here, but everything else here is getting an upgrade, so yeah. Give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back and I've decided I'd quite like one of these portable holes, please, thank you very much. So, we need some enchanted silks, and that's 16 and 4 wool. Okay, we can do that. Let's just go over here. Punch this guy. 16 string. So, I don't know, this feature here, seriously, wow. Uh, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 15, 16 of those, please. Thank you very much. And I don't think I have all that much wool left. Oh, okay. Uh, four of those. Oops. Gimme, give gimme! Give you may have noticed a little earlier there as I was running by, these pipes had a red indicator on them. I added one more uh, 
pipe or well I didn't add one I uh, used up one of the uh, item transport pipes and that left a, an uneven number 5 on the network here and for whatever reason it just doesn't like that so uh, if you were to try and request something well then it wouldn't work so um, 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 what else do we need? Babbling again. Let's have a look. Oh, an ender pearl. Yeah, look up door. Okay, one ender pearl, please. Here we go. And then, what are we up to? We need 24 of that, 16 of that, and 24 of that. And we need our large capacity wand, whoops, wand of the adept, uh, one of those, thank you very much, and sorting this stuff out is actually, you know, the part that takes longest, uh, so you know what to throw into the actual cauldron itself, so I'm going to spend a bit of time at this pipe here because it means I don't have to run downstairs to do it, you know, everything in my network here is available. So if I click on something, I can see, I mean, seriously, like, you have to, have to love it. So, it'll probably turn out I don't have something, you know, I'll probably need, like, a boat or something. I don't, yeah, boats, yeah. If you've done Tomcraft before, boats and armor, you'll know what I'm talking about, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back as soon as I get some of the correct ingredients for... Uh, the different aspects, that's the word I'm looking for uh, to make a uh, portable hole. So all of these aspects here are needed and when I get them I'll be back. Okay so after a quick hunt around it looks like these are the items I need so fingers crossed just need six of those guys, some of them and some silver. You can see all the different colors working the way up there, but I don't see any particle effects flowing over. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, one portable hole. Thank you very much. Let's fill it up again quite nicely. So, yay! Haha, <laughs> freaking sweet. So that will go straight into my bag there. Uh, I'll have to get one of the adept above, so I'll carry that one on me. And I need to get into uh, upgrading these machines, so we'll probably leave that for the next video. Uh, I know this is a bit of a short one, well, 15 minutes, but uh, I want to get into um, actually doing these upgrades. So, uh, excuse the delay between videos, you know, there was a lot of work going on in the background here, um, hence the reason why. So yeah, hopefully going forward now things will get a lot easier as we keep expanding. So, thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for the next one.